What's up, YouTube? Everything that you have is all you will ever have. From this point on, you got to realize, again, you are perfect or also known as complete because that's what perfection means. That's the definition of perfection is completion. So if we are perfect, there's nothing that can be added to perfect to perfection. The only thing we can do is remove something that isn't truly there so that we can realize what we truly have. Many of us are holding on to things or think that we're holding on to things, but they're not even really there. You're holding on to a mirage or an illusion. It's a thousand pound mirage, basically. So you're, you're holding on to what isn't there or leaning on a crutch that really isn't there and you're falling. And while you're falling, you're like, why isn't this crutch? You're questioning the crutch, but it's never been there, never will be there. So if you're in a state right now where you're experiencing lack, expanding lack, focusing on lack, and you say, this is the life that I have, this is the life I'm in, it's everything is in a sense. What's up? Give me a second. Oh, uh, all right. All right. I thought that they was talking to me. All right, my bad. But nah, so right, since life is basically, in a sense, finite in the third dimension because you have skin, you got to realize that everything that is here is what has always been here. So with that said, there's nothing that you can add to your circumstance. There's only You can only remove what isn't really there. Something that isn't truly there that you think is there. Because again, thinking is the opposite of being aware. You don't, you either know or you don't know, in a sense. You can't think. You can think that you know, but there knowingness is silence. The language of God is silence. So you can ask a question, which is thinking. The silence is always the answer, regardless of what anyone will ever say, any rebut ever. So if you have something in your life, you're like, man, I got these expectations. That's something that's not really there that you're holding on to. That might be a thousand pounds. So you let go of that. Then you realize what you really have. So it's all types of things that you hold on to that aren't really there that are blocking what you truly have, the vision of what you truly have. So you're in a state of being right now where you might want something. And the only way that you can freeze up. All right. You would say you have expectations like I have expectations to do this, that and a third in the next month. The life, the course of life will proceed and things will happen that cancel out or counter those expectations to make them null. Like, whatever the case may be, you will come across some knowledge that, say, if you wanted to go to on a trip somewhere and you had expectations for the trip, then you get privy to some knowledge that lets you know, like, wow, I'd have wasted my time doing that. It makes that null. So you, you carry that expectation the whole time. But... It was already null the whole time. It's been null from the whole point of conception. It, you know, it's just not, it's an illusion. It's a mirage. It's a hologram. It's an expectation. It's something projected from the projection. Because again, we are projectors and the projection. The body is a projection and a projector. So it's all about letting go or not holding on to, releasing, so that it can come back in the form that is within you instead of this external form that perpetuates lack. So, yeah, if you have a routine that you're in right now or expectations for the next week, what you have is what you have. You can only remove because removing is creation. Negation is creation. Remove you to produce you. So you take stuff doesn't add up. You remove yourself. You find out what you are and that produces you. You have always existed. The production is channeling and realizing. It's not that you add or take or give or create. It's just a matter of realizing or unbecoming, what people call unraveling, what have you. So, ROYALT512 for the P for, at yahoo.com. ROYALT512 at yahoo.com for the PDFs. There's 28 of them. The iManual is sold separately. You can get all 28 for 100. The iManual is separate, though. You can get them in ebook format if you search RBUV Vegan on Amazon. So check that out. Check that in and uh, just realize that you have everything and that you can't add to perfection. And the only thing you can do right now is to take away. It's never addition. It's always removing. And then you remove the clutter and see the abundance.